Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. I'll ever do on doing a grow test for this Mars Hydro SP250. I got it last year and I showed an unboxing. I'll put a link in the description and above. But um, the initial test I did, the plants got mites and uh, it wasn't a reflection of the lights. I, I just scrapped that grow and I've been meaning to do another grow test. I've been using it some of my peppers but I haven't shot any video. So what I want to do is do a cracky grow. I was going to do lettuce but I've got a bunch of sprouts coming up, radish sprouts coming up in my aquaponics system and uh, it would be very easy to just pull those out and stick them in here. So I need to mix the nutrients. I'm going to use master blend. I'll show that in a moment. But I uh, just got th three inch holes drilled in the uh, five gallon tote and three inch net pot net cups. So what I'm going to do is just use rock wool, install the radish sprouts and just stick them back in here. It's enough water to touch the bottom. I'm going to let it go and I'll show you the update and progress on it. Let me show you the radish sprouts and then the mixing of the nutrients and then we'll uh, take it from there. Okay so these are the uh, radish sprouts in the aquaponics system. I've got some videos on this I'll link to as well and it's got a little cup of water to put them in to transport them downstairs. Be able to just gently pull these out. Yep. You can see all the roots there. It's starting to get some little tree leaves. So I need um, 12 of these. Go ahead and get these. Okay, that should make 12. Okay, so I've got my sprouts. And my master blend for each container. And I'm using uh, two grams per gallon of master blend, one gram per gallon Epsom salt, and two grams per gallon calcium nitrate. And they need to be mixed in that order. And I've got the rock wool cubes that will fit into these, and then they'll sit into the nutrient. So this is about three gallons that I've got in each one of these. It's pre measured those already. I've got a video on mixing master blend that I'll link as well. Should be able to cut these open like so. Take a sprout. Kind of suspend it a little bit, and that'll be fine. And I want it actually could have a solution a little bit lower than this. And the roots hang in, but this should be okay. It gives a little bit of a air gap there. So um, yeah, it's going to do that. And we'll do the rest of these. Okay, I got these all done up. I did find that it's easier to cut the here, cut a hole in the, the bottom center. Makes it a lot easier to thread those through. And I did soak the rock wool overnight. I don't know if it made a difference, but uh, so the master blend, uh, like I normally mix for peppers, maybe a little too strong for these. I've never grown radishes before, so we'll see how it does. I've got the light at about 40 inches above the tops, so it's a pretty, it's a very powerful light. I may adjust it up or down, but that's what I've got it started out at. Wait a couple weeks and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so it's been about a little right around three, three and a half weeks since I uh, I transplanted the seedlings or sprouts rather and um, just wanted to give an update in case this goes south from this point because now it's a matter of uh, balancing nutrient levels which is I uh, one thing I did I did wrong was um, put too many of these in here for the amount of nutrient so with what I've got it won't grow to completion for running out so like instead of doing six plants in about three gallons I should have done no more than three plants in each one of these two might have been better so you can see the nutrient levels almost depleted there's about 
inch or so uh, level in there. So I'm going to probably dump this out and refill back. I have to be careful with crack heat not to refill, but I might uh, go just a little higher than what's in there, maybe another inch. Any more than that, I risk drowning the plants. I don't know where the... Um, I've never grown radishes before, so I don't know what to expect with these, but at some point they should produce a little bulb, and I, I guess that would be... You can kind of see... something poking out of the bottom of the rock wool. I guess that's a little radish bulb. So I don't know how how far to let these go before I try to harvest them. But um, so I think what I, I am going to do is just dump out these old nutrients and then refill back maybe that far above what's in there now. Uh, again like with the cracky um, if you refill too much you risk drowning the plants because the roots above the nutrient level have adapted themselves for the gas exchange and the roots in the nutrient are doing all the feeding so so I have to be aware of that. Uh, I have seen uh, refilling a little bit above the original line works okay but if you go too much you can kill the plants. So yeah these these grow quite a bit in three weeks. These are all, a couple of these are kind of yellow. Could be where the nutrients running out. This one's got a little bit more in it. You can really see a bulb kind of between the see a bulb on that one. There's a bulb in there on that one. You can see kind of poking out. Yeah, so it looks like I've got something I can use on these. Yeah, I just want to show it before um, in case I screw these up, re you know, adding nutrients. So I don't know if I'll do an update after these or not, but these are doing really well. Um, growing like crazy under this Mars Hydro SP250. I did have a little radiator type heater. It's on it's on the lowest setting. I mean it's not hot enough to I mean it's not putting out a ton of heat. I can grab it. It was getting a little chilly in here and since I opened the door it's dropped down but it's been maintaining around 75 degrees. So anyway the I put a link in the description on this I meant to do the update last year when they sent it to me and I had a problem with mites with the peppers that I had under it. So the, the video kind of got screwed up. Since uh, they sent me this, they've upgraded this model. It's at now it's the SP3000 and it's the same uh, dimensions, but it's got, uh, I think, upgraded diodes and uh, driver. And it's also got a, an external dimming switch. This you have to remove the driver to do to adjust the uh, brightness with this. The new one has an uh, external dimming switch or dimming knob and it's also um, can be daisy chained and it pushes more light. I believe it goes up to like 300 watts instead of uh, 250, 240, whatever this one is. So uh, but it does cost quite a bit more but it's like an upgraded version of this. But I, I'll put a link if you follow my old video on this the link would just go to the new version the SP3000. Uh, so you can't really get the 250 anymore but um, this thing's a beast though. It does really well. So we got a little radish garden in here. So yeah, if I get any updates on this or you know, I might do like a follow-up or post some pictures on Facebook or Instagram. Anyway, um, thank you Mars Hydro for sending me this light. Sorry it took so long to get a grow test with it. And thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you like that. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe.